Hello and welcome. This actually should have been welcome to Geneva. But hey, as we all know, there's no Geneva this year. And we have an incredibly important launch for Fiat. A launch that is just too important to be cancelled or postponed. The new Fiat 500. So here we are, as promised, ready to go. Here in Italy, of course, because Italy is the home of 500. Well, actually, it was born in Turin, and that's exactly where I set off this morning, from our Mirafiori factory, where, once again, the production lines are ready to roll. But, as we speak, I'm not in Turin. Today, we are doing something even more symbolic. We are in Milan. We are here to send out a positive signal, because right now, Milan needs it. Milan is the engine of the Italian economy, of design, of fashion, of style and luxury. And in these difficult moments, we want to help recharge its energy and optimism. Look, energy and optimism is what 500 is all about. In the post-war years, it gave people freedom of movement and new hope and helped to overcome the fears of that era. And we can do that again. Which is why today I'm here in Milan. We stand beside Milan. Milan never stops, Italy never stops, and Fiat never stops. In 121 years, Fiat has been part of many solutions. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. Social relevance. So let's pretend we are in Geneva and I'll show you a few slides. When this car was born on July 4th, 1957, it was conceived as an answer to a higher calling, a social revolution after the devastation of war. Then, in 2007, our 500 came back to offer a rewarding answer to the commoditized market of city cars, somehow an ego revolution. Well, now we are in a pivotal moment. And our dear Cinquecento is now coming back to help us pull off an even bigger miracle, an eco-revolution. Because now we are in 2020. We enter a new decade, one that will be crucial not just for our business, but also for the planet. And I'm about to show you a car that can be a win for both climate and business. Today is a huge premiere for us. We officially open a new season of Fiat 500. And to do that, the perfect place is here, the Temple of Italian Opera. So here we are. I left it with special permission at La Scala di Milano, the perfect place for a diva. You know, in Italian opera, there is always something big at stake. And for us, 500 is no different. Look, it's a love brand. It's a pop icon that has inspired artists, musicians, movies, a fashion icon from Italy to the world, and a page of Italian history, the Dolce Vita. 500 is more than a cult, it's a culture. Now, it's all of this, but hey, let's face it, it's also a huge commercial success, a huge chunk of our bread and butter. Look at the last 10 years, leadership in volumes, in market share, and in pricing power. None of which happened by chance, no. It happened because we constantly managed to keep 500 relevant. Style, connectivity, powertrains, including the latest success, a mild hybrid for more freedom in a city. So this is not just the third generation of a car. Really, it is the third reincarnation of a spirit, a spirit that inspires change. I mean, everyone wants the world to go green, right? But not everyone is ready to trade their beautiful car and a fun to drive for an electric appliance. And this is exactly where 500 comes into play. You see, duty motivates the few, but beauty can convert the world. There are loads of examples of good design accelerating the adoption of new technologies. So now it's our turn. The world of electric city cars too has to morph into something more charismatic. OK, now, what is the go-to-market strategy? We will simply go all in. All new, all 500, all electric, all in. What I mean is all electric and only electric from day one. 
With everything I've said so far about 500's leadership and commercial success, that's a pretty bold business decision. But paradigms aren't shifted by the timid, right? So now, let me tell you why I don't feel timid. I don't feel timid because everything I'm going to show you here is new. A totally new setup, designed not just for 2020, but for the entire decade to come. So built green from the ground up. Now, let's start with how we tackle wrench anxiety. First, with a generous WTP wrench, which means 320 real-life kilometers. But the number that makes most sense is the urban cycle. Look, in the city you get 400. Second, with what we call the Sherpa mode, to go even further. It's like a Himalayan Sherpa. When needed, it takes control of the situation, modifies the car's parameters, and gets you to your base camp no matter what. Third, with a standard 85 kilowatt fast charger, giving you, in just five minutes charging, 50 kilometer, a whole day's city driving. That's a big deal. And again, it comes standard. And last, a branded wall box for easy home charging, standard two. Okay, great. That's electrification, but everything else has to be ready for the next decade too, right? Well, we really wanted 500 to be the first small car to bring level two autonomous driving to the city. And you know why? Because it just makes sense. I mean, where is it that you keep changing lanes? It's not on the open road, it is in the city. Where is it you keep accelerating and braking and having obstacles all around? Again, it is not on the open road, it is in the city. And last, all new also applies to the infotainment system. 500 will actually be the very first FCA car to host our all-new connected infotainment platform. This is FCA's biggest ever infotainment investment across all our brands. Easy, intuitive, incredibly customizable. A mega screen that's iPhone fast and opens the door to new content, new features, new services, totally set for the future. So, the new 500 is all substance, electric, connected and autonomous. Good, but hey, it's still a 500, so the charge it delivers cannot just be electric, it's also emotional. Well, for starters, think of a car that is electric and open. You know, like a sailboat on the road. The silent caress of the breeze. That's a priceless emotion, don't you agree? Now, something else. Are you familiar with the, the acoustic alert for pedestrians? Well, if you are, you already know, it's quite hard to do something original. Listen to a few sound bites. A sea of sameness, don't you think? But what about 500? Here is the sound of our engine. Hear that? It's definitely a conversation piece. 500 has the only engine able to play a melody and they will be like the ringtones of your phone. Interchangeable, downloadable, customizable. It's not the voice of a computer. It is the voice of the Italian creative spirit. Bellissima. Now, let's have a closer look. The new 500 is wider, it's longer, it has more living space than any 500 before it. The wheels are planted further out. It has more presence, it's more assertive. And more importantly, it is pure Cinquecento. Classic, iconic, and rooted in 63 years of history. So, all the iconic cues are here, just quieter, cleaner, crisper. And this is also true on the inside, 
clean design, fewer buttons, essential lines. Through beauty doesn't need to shout. And I love that the seat fabric is woven from plastics we claimed from the sea. Now, speaking of the sea, look at this. This cute little pebble. Well, it's actually not a pebble, it's a key fob designed to feel natural, relaxing, eco-sustainable, definitely another conversation piece. And speaking of the key, here's one more thing. It opens a door to more than just your car. It will give you access to all the other icons FCA has to offer because, you know, another great thing about 500 is that it comes from more than just a brand. It comes from a house of brands. So, you can drive electric during the week and occasionally you also get whatever else you need, an Italian sports car, an American SUV, a spider, a people mover, you name it. Look, like I said, this is the third reincarnation of an icon. Now, in 1957, I wasn't even born. But in 2007, I was here, so I remember. We had the best problem on Earth, way more demand than supply. Well, it's likely to happen again. We will have limited availability this year, so it's going to be first come, first served. And the first served will be those who book our launch edition called La Prima. La Prima of a whole new season. This is the very top of the branch. Cabrio, fully loaded, numbered 500 units per country with a one-of-a-kind exclusive interior. So, right here, right now, let's officially open the pre-booking. And, as you can see, the process is, is very simple. Three clicks. Click one. Pick the color. I have three to choose from, inspired by the earth, the sea, and the sky. And, obviously, no fire. This car is not about combustion. Click two. I register, giving my email, my address, and I pick a dealer near me. Click three, I place a deposit, 500 euros, refundable, obviously. And by the way, I love that the system will calculate my incentive automatically based on my zip code. You see, I just booked one, one of the first few thousand available in Europe. But now, what about one of the very first three on Earth? Well, you can buy them too, but for that, I need to take you into another world, a world of masterpieces. The three cars I'm about to introduce are literally three masterpieces, three one-of-a-kind creations, and they will be auctioned for a very good cause. The proceeds will benefit Leonardo DiCaprio's cause. As we all know, Leonardo is among the world's leading climate activists and really respected for it. So, luckily for us, he related to our all-in approach and... I am proud to say that he will be our endorser across continental Europe. I'm very happy to be able to invite people in all those countries to go online um, and enjoy the first episode of our story with him. Back to these three cars. They celebrate three facets of 500s. Style, creativity and craftsmanship. So each facet is here interpreted by a partner, Cartel, Armani and Bulgari. Three icons, all, as I said, made in Italy. So let's start with this one, interpreted by Giorgio Armani in person. Here we celebrate elegance, the elegance of raw metal. Giorgio celebrates this beautiful material by engraving it with lasers so it looks like an Armani fabric. This is unique and beautiful, but it's also meaningful because it saves two layers of paint out of three. And speaking of paint, the matte paint here is something revolutionary. It has the same air purifying power at 10 square meters of leaves. Incredible. It's like having a tree on four wheels. And look inside. Here you'll find recycled wood from suppliers who fight against deforestation. And wool from agriculture that protects biodiversity. Every detail celebrates a love for sustainable farming and forestry. So now, let's get inspired by this second partnership, Cartel. Like all of you, 
I love their incredible creative design, chairs, lamps. But what I love even more is Cartel's commitment to make the world of plastics more sustainable. So here, you'll find interiors in nylon, harvested from the ocean, headlights and wheels in materials recycled from old cars, and all this wrapped in a stunning color called Blue Cartel. And finally, this 500 by Bulgari. The paint on this car literally contains gold. This is incredible. Gold dust that comes from the crafting of fine jewels and instead of being lost, it's recycled and incorporated into the color. You see, this Fiat is an alchemist. It turns gold into something even more precious, a brighter future. Same approach with the dashboard. What you see here are real unsold Bulgari silk foulard. You see, nothing is too precious not to be reused. Well, you just saw the most unique, singular, original one-offs ever. You just saw gold, plastic or recycled wood repurposed into a Fiat. You know, there is a quote from another Leonardo. He said, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. And so we do. We electrify one of the most popular and loved vehicles on the planet, boldly, without looking back. So yes, it's a disruptive call, but this is exactly the kind of disruption that a better future demands of us. You know, this notion of a better future, it feels both close because that's exactly the spirit of the Dolce Vita and the original 500, and also more remote than ever because we live in a world dominated by a culture of anxiety, especially here and now. So, can a simple car bring back that positive spirit, hope, joy? Well, as you have seen today, Fiat 500 is an activist and an alchemist. So yes, it can. It can turn a cult into a culture. It can turn electric into eclectic, ethics into aesthetics. It can keep inspiring change as it has been doing for more than 60 years and always will. Thank you and I will see you very soon in Turin.